So this uh, template that I've set up in Excel for randomizing groups is extremely easy to use, in my opinion. There's a macro um, in it, which makes it super easy. So you're gonna have to start, if it pops up the security warning, click enable content. And then you simply, it's as easy as just, you know, Brad, Jason, Sonia, Terry, that kind of stuff. And uh, let's just say you only have, I don't know, 19 students. You're gonna say delete, delete, delete. You know, and then when you click the randomize button, you can see it'll only give you the students that you have. You can see student 17 will be the most recent one here. Let's just say, for whatever reason, Terry leaves the class, um, but everyone else stays. You just delete her from your class roster. And then when you click randomize, it won't leave a space, which I think is cool. Um, it just removes her, doesn't include her in your new seating chart. So to use this, you'd only have to just type the names of your students and it goes all the way down to like 50. So if I can start, I can't undo because of the macro, but um, like if I had a student here and say spot 26, uh, Tim, you can see there's Tim in group two. Um, now something, one last uh, tidbit that you might want, if you have this on a smart board where students could press the randomize button and uh, mess with the seating chart you have, uh, which is one of my classes, that's the case where I just hit the, you know, print screen button to do a screen capture. And again, actually I'll zoom it in a little bit. Usually this is what I do. Screen capture, and then I'll just open a, a new Microsoft Word document and then just control V, paste it in there. And then again, my students see me do this um, every day in class. So this is just a super easy way to get random seats.